The Tenistropius means long vertebrate. It is a long reptile that lives in the beaches and the Triassic seas with six meters two feet long. It has a long neck which measure three meters ten feet long. It uses its long neck to eat fish. The fish become slippery food for the Tenistropius. However, the Tenistropius uses its long neck for it's at least half the length of this body. The Desistropius living was now Europe during the Middle Triassic to Late Triassic periods, about 230 to 220 million years ago. The Desistropius is a member of the Archishore family. Tenistropius. <coughs> Eudimorphodi means true to form tooth. It was a pterosaur that discovered in 1973. It weighed over 1 meter 3.3 feet in length and weighed no more than 10 kilograms 222 IB. Like Tenistropius, Eudimorphodon loves to eat fish in the sea. The front of the Eudimopodon's jaw was built with long, sharp fangs. Those were indeed for grasping their slippery prey as they skimmed the sea and ready to catch some fish. It has a wingspan of about 100 centimeters, 3 dot feet, feet at the end of its long, bony tail. May have been a diamond-shaped flap like its cousin in the Jurassic Ramphorhynchus. The Eudimopodon is a European pterosaur, which means that it was now Europe during the late Triassic period, about 220 million years ago. The Eudimopodon is a member of the pterosaur family. Eudimopodon. Cotinosaurus means winged lizard. Like the Eudimopodon, it eats fish, but it also likes to eat insects. Cotinosaurus had a wingspan of around 60 cm and 24 in. The fifth toe of Cotinosaurus was long and clawless, and it was a pterosaur and it's the smallest of all pterosaurs. Its weight was less than that of a blackbird. Botinosaurus <coughs> living was now Europe during the late Triassic period about 220 million years ago. <coughs> Botinosaurus is a member of the pterosaur family. Potinosaurus. <laughs> the Lillian's Turnus means named after Lillian's Turn. It was one of the earliest dinosaurs and it has a crest related to the Lophosaurus. It's a moderate sized groundwood carnivore that grew up to 5.15 mm, 16.9 feet long. It was a theropod from the Triassic period and it could kill other animals, like Tetrotropiuses. However, the Lillian's turn is crest similar to that observed it observed in Dilophosaurus. Its ilium is usually short, as in the case with Dilophosaurus. It resembles the coat of arms of Benham, Big Picty, now Lillian's turny. <laughs> the Lillian's turn is Living was now Europe during the late Triassic period, about 220 million years ago. 
The Lillian Sternis is a member of the Therapy family. <laughs> Lillian Sternis. And now the moment I've all been waiting for, it's movie time! Look out, Highwood. Here we come. Is anyone seated and ready for a movie? Good! Okay. Lights, camera, action! Hello there, everyone. That was a great dinosaur movie.